Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you that I got a new camera. So, yeah, that means I'm going to be doing more reviews. Pretty soon, actually. I, uh, can't quite use this anymore. It is just so damn frustrating trying to do any videos with something that barely captures any audio and has a fisheye lens that captures way more background than I'd like. Plus, with this one, you can see me a lot better, and I don't have to have a spotlight on. I just got my normal room light on, and you may notice, no headset. <laughs> if this works out the way I think it will, I'll be able to produce all kinds of different videos without being hampered by cords or headsets or anything, really. Okay, there will be a few things hampering what I can do. But this is such a big upgrade for me. And in case you're wondering, yeah, this is an outdoor camera. This was supposed to be used on the side of a bike or on the handles or whatever. Maybe even if you're doing any kind of uh, base jumping or something like that. I don't know. I don't go outside. Jeez. Okay, I do go outside, but not like that. I'm a big guy. Gravity is not my friend, so I'm not going to give it a head start of trying to kill me. So you will not see me in a parachute unless a plane is plummeting to the ground and I'd like to slow the fall. <sighs> so yeah. Uh, big things are happening. Camera. I, I just can't stay away from these reviews. I, I, got, I gotta do something. Uh, there's too much I want to talk about. And the biggest thing that was stopping me from making these videos... Okay, the two things that were stopping me was I wasn't getting a lot of views, so I was kind of discouraged to putting out any content. But also, you know, I had this, and there was this. Ignore that. Uh, there's even a uh, work light up there. I, I just had to have so much stuff all at once and now it's all in this one little Kodak camera which I'm surprised Kodak is still in existence I thought they only did film but it's good to see that they can make a quality product in this day and age and I'm gonna call it quality because I mean look at the picture quality this is better than what I was getting with that should I just have it in frame yeah let's just have this in frame because you know I'm gonna constantly grab for it I mean, yes, it probably do very well for what it needed to do, but for my purposes, it was a big hassle. You can see there's no screen on this, so I can't see what the picture looks like before the video's over. This is different. It has a screen on it. This is the uh, PixPro FZ43. It's got a microphone in the front here so I can talk into it. I don't have to have a microphone right here. I don't have to worry about pulling the cords out of my laptop. I don't need to have my laptop when I do these videos. I could be anywhere. So, yeah. This would have been really good if I was actually interested in doing any videos outdoors. And, to be fair, if I was interested in doing anything on a bike or jumping off of a plane or anything like that, I'm sure it would be amazing. But this, I can do it indoors or out. So if all works out, I should be able to do any kinds of videos that I really want without being hampered by so many of the things that were causing me trouble. I know I keep looking back at it, but it's just... Very professional. Clearly been on YouTube a long time. But it's nice to not have to have my laptop right next to me when I do these videos. It means I can come up with stuff on the fly, do all kinds of interesting things. I think the biggest thing I need to do is stop restricting myself. So I'm breaking the criteria for this. I'm not just doing horror films anymore. You don't have to be careful about what you suggest for me. I'm going to be doing all kinds of films. I really want to do the obscure cult films or the ones that no one's ever seen but are still pretty good. Maybe ones that are laughably bad, because, you know, those are, this is fun, but this will allow me to get out 
all kinds of different videos without having to take so much time. And it feels so much more natural. I can move around. I can put this in different places. And this was the tripod I was using. As nice as it is, it's kind of restrictive, as was the camera. So now, I can really do some awesome stuff. In fact, uh, one of the things I want to do is a review of American Horror Story. Now, you remember, as I see it, well, I had some things that I was doing with... Oh, this is Asylum. Uh, I'm eventually going to be doing this, apparently. Uh, yeah, very professional. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, American Horror Story, I'm planning to do that. I've had a few videos that were taken down because of content issues, so I'm going to be redoing those. That means there's a few Tremors movies that I'm going to be doing, the series I'm going to do again. Uh, there's been a fifth, fifth, yeah, fifth movie for the Tremors series that I'm going to be doing. If you haven't heard about it, I'm not surprised. And... If you didn't know, uh, exciting news that's actually kind of old right now, uh, Kevin Bacon is trying to get back and do something with the Tremor series, which is really awesome. I I don't think he's going to be acting in it, maybe? I think he's looking for more of a producer role, maybe directorial. I keep looking over at my stack of DVDs over here, because it's kind of nice looking at the stuff I'm going to do. Let me get some of this stuff, actually. Just because I want to do this. Uh, someone put out a request. I have uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which I am going to get to. And yes, that is an incredible price tag if you can see it. Uh, the screen's only on one side, so I can't see it when I'm recording, but still. A lot better than what I had. Uh, yeah, 397 for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And now, this is the... Is this used? No, this is... No, this isn't used. This is just... Walmart probably has it for like 20 bucks or something like that. So, uh, yeah, here's one that I, I'm going to love reviewing. This is Bats. Uh, yeah, this is a fun one that I'm going to get to. American Horror Story, the first season. Definitely going to put out a review about that if you don't already know my thoughts from As I See It. Tremors Complete Series. Going to do a review of that because the... The initial video that I did reviewing that. That got taken down. Candyman. Oh, I am definitely going to be doing a review of Candyman. But uh, this is a lot of my normal content, so... Uh, yeah, i got to figure out uh, something to do for my first inaugural video of not doing it. I mean, I, I plan on doing, uh, like, uh, High Spirits, which... Okay, it's a ghost comedy, haunted honeymoon, same thing. I need to branch out and really do something different. So, what's going to be my next review? What? Uh, I'm I'm doing that one. Seriously? <laughs> I've seen the film. Yes, I I ha I have I. I've seen what people say about it, but, uh, uh, do we really want to go into that? I mean, I'm going to be in so much trouble when people watch that review. Maybe you will have an open mind, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, crap.